Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the new holographic vinyl from Cricut. And if you're brand new to Cricut, I'm going to show you how to use vinyl for your first project. You are watching Melody Lane. With me you're going to have a great crafting time. If you're using a mat for the first time, make sure you take the top off the plastic, but keep it and put it back on to protect the mat from the dust so it stays sticky. Instead of using the vinyl that comes with the Lilac Cricut Explore Air, that's iron-on vinyl, and I want to make something to put on my machine. So I'm going to use the new holographic vinyl, and these two look best with the Lilac one. I think I'm going to use this one. This is the blue holographic vinyl, and this is the opal one. Well, I don't know. They both would look so good. Oh, I think I'm gonna go with the opal. So I'm gonna open this up and put this on my mat. Look at how pretty it is. It's beautiful. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I think I need to put some of this on my golf cart. So pretty! Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cut it with my Cricut trimmer. I'm gonna stick this in here. Okay, I know right now I need to order more of this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> So pretty! Okay, so I'm gonna put this across the top. Put it down in one corner. Oh my gosh, my golf cart is gonna be covered. So. I can't wait! So excited! Okay, so we're gonna load the mat and make sure you get it under the guides. Like right there. And make sure you turn the dial to vinyl. Usually I like to do it the notch in between vinyl and vinyl plus. And I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and put it there because I'm not sure about this. There may be a custom setting for the holographic. So let's hit the load button. And while we hit it, we have to hold this in and push it just a little, not hard. Just make sure it gets in there. And now when this starts blinking, it's ready to cut. Notice I didn't do anything with the blade. The blade is already in there. Now it's ready to unload. Isn't that pretty? And it looks different in different lights. Like to me, it looks pink. To you, it looks blue. Now to take this off the mat, you can use a spatula. And to use a spatula, I like to go like this and kind of move my wrist. Like I bend this back and forth. Push it under there and bend it back and forth. See how easily that comes up? If you don't have one of these, you can turn your mat over and kind of lift the mat off your project, like that. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna cut this off right there. I'm just gonna stick it in here really quickly. So I have a nice even cut, so next time I wanna use this piece, it'll be completely straight because I don't cut very well with scissors. So now I'm going to use the weeding tool to pick out the pieces I don't want. This is called weeding. So I just kind of grab that, pull that up, pull that up. Okay, so now we just have to get the pieces inside. 
I usually like to stick them on my feet. You lift it up a little, then just wipe it with your finger. It makes it really easy. shop in the description below and I get a small commission when you use that link and you can use my discount code Melody Lane to save 15% and get free shipping if you like to use my code give this video a like now let's put this on my machine okay now to put this on you can just take this off like this and be very careful and put it on I'm gonna use transfer tape so I have some transfer tape here I got from my Cricut Mystery Box. If you don't know what a Cricut Mystery Box is, they come out every month and I do a video on explaining what's in the box. I release that video as soon as it's available in the store. It's not a subscription, it's just a box you buy one time and then you get addicted and you buy them again. Got the right size here. Okay, so to use transfer tape, you peel this off. Now, this is something you can use again. You don't have to use this once and throw it away. So keep this, keep this when you need a piece this small, just keep reusing it until it loses all its sticky. Okay, and I'm going to lay this on here. I'm going to start at the top. I could start in the center too. Like, you just want to start somewhere and then slowly put it on. And then you want to burnish it on. I'm using my Cricut scraper. They have a really large scraper too that I absolutely love for bigger projects. These are also good. There's a bubble. Don't know if that bubble will actually matter on this project. You can also use the scraper to scrape little pieces of paper or vinyl off your mat or to get any fuzzies off from the paper. So you want to make sure this is all furnished in here really good. So then we're going to flip this over. And I'm gonna hold the corner of it down and I'm gonna pull this back really flat like that and pull that off. Oops, and see some of it wanted to still stick to this. So we might have to go back and get that on there. And if it doesn't wanna work, you can go from a different angle. You know, all right. Now we're ready to put this on our machine. Okay, so you might wanna measure where the middle is. I am just going to guesstimate. And I don't want it up. So I'm going to put it the center on first. And then push it up and then push it down. Make sure I get out all of the air bubbles. And we have to burnish this onto the material we're putting it onto. So we have to push really hard so the vinyl will stick to it. And then when we're ready, you take the corner and you make it really flat. Like you don't pull it up, you make it really flat. So you pull it back like that. Looks like there's a bubble. And you can continue to push that out. If you can't get all the bubbles out, you can poke them with a pen.
And because I'm doing this on video, I'm not standing at a really good angle to get this on. So I'm gonna just poke the hole and then push them out. See? It helps the air come out. Sometimes you can use a hair dryer on it too. Here you can see how the one piece of holographic vinyl looks different in different lights. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. There's a lot more to come. Thanks so much for watching. And I want to give a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Sarah, Kimberly, Jill, Tammy, Christine, Catherine, Brenda, Brenda, Jennifer, Sue, Lakeisha, Arlene, Lynn, Ashley, Misty, Liz, Jennifer, Chris, Lisa, Joyce, Liz, Janice, Brenda, Carolyn, Yadhira, Elizabeth, Vicki, Janet, Jennifer, Marty, Debbie, Madeline, Terry, Kay, Diane, Pamela, Mary, Dorothy, Tracy, Brenda, Anthony, Julie, Ariana, D, Dana, Bonnie, Cynthia, Adrian, Judy, Jenny, Dorinda, Lasagna, Tori, Chris, Diane, Carmen, and Lillian. Thanks, guys. You are watching Melody Lane. With me, you're gonna have a great crafting time.